Welcome back to my free quarter Halloween spooktacular! This time we're gonna make some more Ben 10 Pokemon, seeing as the last video did some really spooky numbers. Ooh, 30k! So I was quite motivated to bring more Ben 10 into the world. This time with a horror spin. Well, there aren't a whole heap of spooky Ben 10 alias to pick from, I think the ones we have are some real great choices. Let's start with our little gremlin fella here, Jury Rig, and go from here. Oh, and if you haven't seen the first Benton video, go here. It's not nearly as spooky, unless you count me badly singing the theme song to Ben 10 as horrifying. If so, then that's recommended Halloween reading. Alright, let's jump in. Jury Rig is the second least known on the list of Ben 10 aliens I have here. Well, for me anyway. We'll cover the one I know almost nothing about last. But I love goblins, they're like my number one fantasy creature to draw and play as in any game that has it available. And so Jury Rig was up my alley, especially one that loves tearing apart machines. Very Twilight Zone core. Yeah, the wiki says he's like a gremlin-ish, but that body is goblinoid core and you can't tell me otherwise. I thought it'd be cool for the Pokemon to not change too much from the OG design. More of a style change? and lean it closer to almost being some kind of impy dimp like creature, but one much more filled with machinery wrecking malice, with this Pokemon holding on to different machinery parts. Well, in game it'd be all the same holding that sort of car tailpipe like item there, and just using it as a massive bludgeon, but I'm sure there would be an anime episode where a whole bunch of them would have a whole different amount of machinery, and Ash and Co, or whoever is the main character, would have to help them find some new mechanics to use. I like Omniverse's Jury Rig design a bit more for the Ben 10 style. I mean, it has clothes instead of being a naked little goblinoid, then, you know, that just looks a bit nicer, I think. I just wish I had actually been able to watch enough of Ivor's series to be able to give more of an opinion on the alien itself. Riglin, the item rip Pokemon, a steel type. A Pokemon found in deep space, Riglin now inhabit regions around the world. They are menaces to any machinery, as their fixation on tearing it apart outweighs any reasoning. Each Riglin carries its most prized possession, a piece of metal it has torn from a machine. This hardy weapon is used to beat foes into submission. Riglin has a new ability called Jury Rig, where at the beginning of each turn this Pokemon transforms all items equipped to Pokemon into similar items. This does not restore uses of single-use items, however. Next we're gonna do Ben Mummy, or Snero, which is just an infinitely better name. And luckily for every non-Australian out there, you get to hear me say Mummy every few seconds. I'm sorry. Mummy. 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 Snero is another one of my all-time favourite aliens, and I'm starting to see a pattern. As it has a few similarities to that of Upgrade, my other favourite. Similar kind of lanky, long-armed body type with the ability to squash or extend their body. I still think upgrades better for the power, but Sarah having skin bandages is just something else. The true horror is having to think about skin bandages. I channeled mainly the OG design here, although I really dig Omniverse's arm eyes, another design trope I'd love to use. I wanted it to feel a bit like something that could have feasibly stepped out of Coffer Grigus as its own Pokemon. Like a Shedinja sort of thing, instead of a deep jagged smile and bright red eyes. A Pokemon that conveniently I kept as Snero. I mean, that's a perfect Pokemon name already, let's be honest. It now has a deep void with green eyes peering from underneath the helmet. I imagine it's possibly more the helmet is the main Pokemon and it has almost skin bandaged tentacle things that come down and wrap around to create a body like shape. I kind of like the pose, it's giving. Almost like that generic mummy pose, but it's a bit shocked like you offended the pharaoh. I ended up giving some glowing trace lines to the pattern on the chest, which makes it look like it's a glowing spooky green from within. Snero, the bandage Pokemon, a ground and ghost type. A Pokemon found in deep space, Snero have complex bodies made of a weave of skin that resembles bandages. They can extend these bandages to capture prey and drain their life essence. Some conspiracy theories suggested Coffer Grigus the spaceships that Snero once used 
to travel to our planet. Sarah has the ability Mummy. Blitzwolfer is next. Not the best name, but hey, let's Pokemon and fire it up. Remember in that one episode where Ben became a furry? Then full-blown werewolf while simultaneously being in love with this girl, only for her to only have eyes for the werewolf and left him when he turned back. What was up with that? I really love how they made horror icons into aliens, but I think the Lobowans are a genius idea to turn them into aliens. The proportions and abilities just go a lot deeper than the others in my opinion. I know typically werewolves are bipedal, but I wanted to mix it up a bit and make it quadrupedal. Not only then can it do a sort of reverse incineral, getting up on two legs, maybe when running or doing a certain attacks or chasing people down, but also to make sure that not every design sends wild mutt here for my Ben 10 Pokemon are bipedal. I went hard with the shape design here, going for some really crazy curves on the muzzle, back and tail, and it lets some really awesome flow to the design. I even went so far to make the arms look a bit chunky and weird, and I think that really helps sell that big muscular wolf creature, even if he's skipping leg day a little bit. This Pokemon could open its mouth like Lobowans can, but I thought I'd keep its mouth closed here in a snarl, so it didn't look too much like a static image of a Dogtopus or Dog Squid thing. Loblowan, the savage Pokemon, a dark type. A Pokemon found in deep space, Loblowan is savage and dangerous Pokemon with a unique jaw that splits open in four ways, along with a special organ that allows them to amplify their howls through ear-shattering levels. With incredibly dangerous claws and teeth, Loblowan are exceptional predators, especially when hunting in large packs. Loblowan has a new ability called Magnified Voice, which is similar to Punk Rock, where it boosts the power of sound-based moves by 40%. Probably a little halfway through this script and I haven't had any Monster Mash references in it whatsoever. Gotta avoid copyright. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do Frankenstrike next. That's just a bad name. It just keeps getting worse. But anyway, what horror trope would you want to see as an alien for Ben 10? Comment it down below. I read up a bit about the Frankenstein aliens in Ben 10 from the Omniverse episodes and it raised many questions. Especially seeing as they all have these natural occurring back pylon things. Weird, but it makes sense with all the other crazy aliens around, so I won't judge the size of anyone's pylon. My idea for the Pokemon was pretty simple. A Frankenstein monster that looked very mismatched and stitched up. I like the sort of stitching texture that Frankenstrike has on it in the original version, so I used it quite a bit in the design for the Pokemon. Really helped give some patterning, but also allowed me to separate the skin tones in a nice way to make it look like it is made up of all different body parts. Yeah, yummers. yummers. Funny we did the Everpod Evo Frankenpod not too long ago, so they could be best friends with their non-symmetry different eyeballs. It was hard to choose between making everything organic like the pylons or make the extra part steel, as it is a steel and electric type. I think it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but Classic Me decided to go in the middle and make the pylons meet and the legs and sort of plug parts be steel-like. Means I get to make the glowy parts that would light up during animations and that's just cool. Freakenstein, the stitched Pokemon of steel and electric type. A Pokemon found in deep space, Freakenstein resembles creatures made from stitched together body parts, each having a unique pattern on its body. Their backs feature growths with electricity gathering properties, and when struck by electricity, Frankenstein becomes frenzied and will demolish anything with a singular lightning charge punch. Frankenstein has the abilities Motor Drive and Lightning Rod. The last one of the video is one I never got to see and that's Vampire. Mainly because there's no place to actually watch Omniverse in Australia on the many streaming services I already pay for. Thanks big capitalism, appreciate ya. But the design here is quite fun. And learning about that Vlad out race was quite interesting, seeing as they were like a tyrannical race of vampires till the rest of the horror aliens rose up and eradicated them. And for a space vampire, this is a pretty cool design. But how to adapt that to a Pokemon was difficult. I ended up making it not too different from the actual Ben 10 design, opting to give it some Pokemon-like eyes and making it a bit more bat-like. I like to think of it as starting out as this little thing as a Pokemon itself, 
then evolving into this legendary Pokemon, a bit like Solgaleo, Cosmog, and Lunala or something. It honestly works so well as a Pokemon movie villain, maybe being a Pokemon controlling an entire Transylvania-like town from up in a big castle. And screw it, let's just do a shot-for-shot -shot Pokemon movie based off Dracula. Come on, Game Freak, I'm right here. Let's set this deal up and I can make you more billion dollars. Oh, that's right. We aren't doing Dracula. Oh my, no. Shot-for-shot -shot version of Morbius with Vlades as the main character. Let's go. Vlades, the Hypnosis Pokemon, a psychic and dark type. A Pokemon found in deep space, Vlades are masters of controlling others with their hypnotic gaze, making both people and Pokemon targets. Once under their control, Vlades drain the life energy of their victims to become stronger. However, they are photosensitive and must hide away during the day, relinquishing their grip on their prey. Vlades has the ability to Levitate. I probably missed a few technical horror Ben 10 aliens in the video, but I think I'll stop here. Next week we'll be doing some Halloween forms and evos with a bit of a twist. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video, as well as like and comment what you thought of the designs, and share the video with other Ben 10 fans. Vlades compels you to play. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful night. No, <laughs> Blair. Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got a gun.